to some, annoying to many. It's prairie dog season. One Albuquerque group is trying to balance getting rid of the rodents with giving them a second chance at life. News 13's Jean Nguyen is here with the story. Madeline, just last week we mentioned some prairie dogs infesting a Clovis Park. There are plenty here in the Metro too, and the organization Prairie Dog Pals wants you to know there's a safe and gentle way to get rid of them without killing them. I love them. I love prairie dogs. But not everyone agrees. These little guys are often a major nuisance, and that's where Prairie Dog Pals steps in. The group was most recently hired by the Department of Transportation to do something about these holes popping up on the trails near Tramway and Indian School. Prairie Dog Pals offers a safe way to make sure these critters don't show back up in unwanted places. And we're moving the prairie dogs to, uh, in a humane way to, uh, we take them from here out to Sevaita Wildlife Preserve out there, and let them go out there. It all starts with soap and water. As it fills up with water, it's also got soap soap on it. They can breathe through the soap is why we have uh, soap beds. Just minutes later. As the girl fills up, if there's one present, then it will uh, come swimming up and we'll, we'll grab it. We rinse their eyes out with saline solution and dry them off a little bit. I'm just going to drop him down in there. So. There From here, the prairie dogs are taken to a holding place to make sure they don't have any diseases. Once they're cleared, they're moved to the Sevaita National Wildlife Refuge. The group acknowledges this process can be intrusive to the prairie dogs, but they stand by it being the best way to keep humans and the animals happy. They don't love us, but <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about it, but I know them taking them to a better place here, and it's way better, more humane than uh, having them be poisoned or something. Today, the team captured 30 prairie dogs. They expect to catch at least 400 more throughout the summer. Madeline, back to you. All right, thanks, Jeannie. Now, the only time that the group does euthanize a prairie dog if it has a disease. For more information on Prairie Dog Pals, just head over to krqe.com.